Oops. Where do I go? Brandon to get here. goods. I receive an invitation. How it going? 
Hey, you joined the session. Cool. Yeah, so you said you needed to do some quests? Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck at a part in the story now because there's a really tough monster and whenever I uh, invite random dudes on the line there, they get like, well, one or several of us get one-shotted and then it's just like, oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm kind of grinding that out, but that takes a while. So, uh, if you have a quest you want to do, just get it ready and then I'll... Are you in it right now? Okay. Because if you're in the... Oh yeah, it's a story quest. You have to do the thing first, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have them, bring a uh, um, fucking beef jerky. I think it's called Estera jerky. They should give you some by default. You just never have any real reason to use it. Oh, I'm gonna grab some right now. Oh, and I found out I can give you items too. If you wanted something, like I got an item pouch, and I can even give you materials and shit for high rank stuff, so. If there's specific ones you need, I have, I can just give them to you. Uh, y you have to do it before you start the match, but if you go into the quest already, uh, you can uh, set up an SOS flare and I'll look for it and join it. Uh, I did okay. It was six wins, three losses, which is gets me more than enough entry to a new uh, draft, two packs, and I complete a bunch of like the daily quests while doing it too. So, yeah, if you win more than four times, you get your price back in gems for entry draft. Yes. You can pay five thousand in-game coins or. 500 gems, which is like five bucks. Uh, or no, it's. I think it's closer to five bucks, yeah. But uh, I paid like 20 bucks on there the first time when I was like, you know what? I'm, I've am i been playing this, I'm enjoying it, so I'll put in a couple bucks once they open the, the cash part of the store. And then I've. Huh? That's what. Okay, cool, I'll join up. Uh, but yeah, once, uh, all the drafts I did in there, I did good enough that I was making, like, 95% of the gems back every single time I played. So I was just like, oh, okay, I'm barely, like, barely getting, uh, any loss of gems, so I drafted, like, 30 or 40 times on there, and I still have plenty of gems left, so. Alright, let's join up. But uh, they've been experimenting with it, like I think they've been adjusting the prize ratio, so it's been going up, because I think it used to be before you got two or three packs, but you only got like 700 gems if you won all seven matches, uh, which is fine, but like nobody ever wins seven in a row usually, like it's... No, uh, there's three losses or seven wins. Which is kind of rough. <laughs> so yeah, also the box here, you should check this every single time. Because they'll give you all the good stuff. But now that I joined, it'll give you extra jerkies, so if you want to take some more in there. Because I, I brought my own, so... Oh yeah, have you, uh, here, let me see if I can give you a majigger. Uh, take one of these. I gotta think I gotta get close to you. Here, stand still. Oops. Uh, 
No, uh, let's see here. The option to give is there, but I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to, how it works. Uh, if I got a item thing, yeah, give an item another player or discard. Give, but it doesn't let me select it. Oh yeah, okay, I can't give you ancient potions. I guess they're like too rare or something. But take one of these max potions. No, uh, just hit X or whatever. I'm offering one, but if you go to your, maybe your item pouch, there you go. Yeah. So that if when you take that, it'll max your health out like above your regular levels, which kind of helps for this area because it's a shitty area. But also, uh, while we're here, I'd like to kill a Gyros if we can find it. Yeah, sure. I'll run around and find the monster. The Gyros? Oh, the Odagiron, yeah. Yeah, I'll, f I'll find... I'll find Gyros while you're doing that. Because I want to murder it. I need some parts. Can I get points from the track still? It's old Magdoros tracks. Oh yeah. Might as well mine. I'm just running around. Uh, no, I kind of got distracted by random stuff. It's like, oh, a mining thing. Oh, a rock. Oh, some bones. Uh, I think I know the area he's in, but I'm not in the right area. So, uh, yeah, which I think we'll get to as we get near Odegiron. After Odegiron runs away the first time, then we can uh, maybe go after Gyros a bit. Flashbug? Where? Oh, shit. Yeah, Flash works pretty good on Odegiron. Oh, he's above us? The Godbug you use to make uh, powder potions and shit like that? Mix it with uh, things like. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I think if you mix it with a potion, it turns into life powder. Which uh, you can use to heal an area rather than just yourself. Uh, if you already did it once for the story, I don't think that one allows you to do it again. Yeah, I got it too. <laughs> yeah, so Odegiron goes through here after, but I guess we gotta go up to get him. So might as well see if we can find a Gyros on the way. Because Gyros is kind of annoying because he has that paralysis bullshit, but I got a good foot. Oh yeah, the half health thing is, comes from staying in that area too long. The yellow smoke area. And he does that stupid... He does that stupid like... And he calls buddies. See over this way? Oh yeah, this might be the way. Here we go. Take some honey. Gyros or Odegiron? I could 
killed Garros so fast. So fast. Yeah, the, all the little areas are blocked off though. Probably because it's the Odagiron mission. I guess maybe we'll just run into them or find some tracks maybe, but it might just be we're only allowed to hunt Odagiron on this one too, so that sucks. Well, I mean, it doesn't really suck, but it's fine. I'm just trying to efficiently kill a bunch of monsters that I need parts for at the same time. Yeah! Oh, there's some little gyros. Fuck you. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's all the gear on tracks. Never mind. You trying to run away? Oh, you're bow and arrow in it. That's a good point. Fuck you. You can just buy the, the steel and bone ones. Oh yeah, yeah. So you like the the actual bow better than the bow guns? Hmm. Hey, sling of thorn, sure. Oh, kick it, and you'll get a better uh, ammo for your slinger. Yeah, slinger thorns. Yeah. Thorns do extra damage, uh, piercing ones do fuck tons of damage for, for slinger ammo. Um, burp, 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 burp. There's some more gyros. No big gyros though. Oh yeah? Nice. Oh, I see. He stuck it on the guy. <laughs> it's funny. Yep. Oh yeah, you like it? Oh, one of those ones. Yeah, yeah. Those are interesting. Uh, they're usually spec to be like a decent challenge, but not too fucked up. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, the other most of the... Fuck you, what a gear on. Shoop! Dunk. What is with those fucking, like, drop rock arrows? That's funny. Yeah. Oh, for stun, yeah, okay. It also knocks me out, which is kind of funny. Oh, it doesn't knock me out, it just like shuffles me out of my motion. Oh yeah, you can carve this Legiana that fell down here. Oh, it's freaking out, it's hooked on him. <laughs> or is he dragging it? Oh, he's totally taking it with him, that's funny. Let's go get him. Hilarious that he just took that shit back through that hole with him. Well, he fast traveled through the fucking hole. Hey, there's Gyros. I'm gonna get you. Also, if you want to stay safe, come up here, you won't get so poisoned. Oops, fuck. I fell down. Fuck me. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh, he got me. Damn it. Shoot me if you can. They'll shake me out of my stun. Oh, there you go. He knocked me off. That's good. I just gotta drink a potion. Sharpen my thingamajigger. That's nice. <laughs> Nice. Oh, out of gear on? Oh, he's getting poisoned, dude. Or bloodied, I should say. Coming. Yeah. This guy being low rank honestly won't take too much more damage though. He's getting pretty busted up already. Oh, he fucking bit me when he flipped over. Ow. Oh. If you picked up honey, you can upgrade the first aid meds while you in your crafting menu for like super first aid meds. There we go. Doing okay without a gear on it looks like. Okay. Well, we're kind of going in the same direction now, since uh, Gyros ran away a bit. So we'll kill Gyros. Oh, honey's always good. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. There we go. And then run towards him. Hey, it's Gyros. Heads up. What's that? Oh, really? Every rock? That's pretty good. Oh, he dropped good, good uh, bombs or good slinger ammo. He's going down pretty soon. Shoot him with the slinger ammo and it'll stun him and he might get angry and come back. There we go. When he runs away. Oh, I fucking missed. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, he's running. He's calling more. Oh, I ran out. Coming. Oh, shit. Take that potion if you didn't take it already when you wake up. It'll fill it'll fill your health all the way back up to over max. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, go towards that guy. I'll finish up Gyros. Oh fuck. Uh, oh he fainted. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, I'll be done here shortly. I'm just gonna sharpen my sword again.
He's, uh, I'll see if I can call the other guy over here. There we go, Kiros is down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if anybody dies, actually, the run's over. That's the one part that that does suck about uh, multiplayer is that it all stacks together. And the the limit... Oh, did on? Okay. I'm on my way. Just run away and dodge if you need to. Okay. I'll be right there. <laughs> ah, fuck. Oh, good, perfect. That didn't fuck me up too bad. I thought the little bastards knocked my, uh... Knocked me out of my sharpening animation. <laughs> I was like, no! Okay, I'm almost there. Uh, you'll get some of it. Because it shows up as like a monster killed during the quest. Alright, there we go. Did he chop off his tail yet? Nope, okay. Let's see if I can get there. Nice. Okay, I gotta, I'll get my flash bombs out here too. Turn around, buddy. Might as well carve the tail when you get a chance, I'll stun him. Oh, he fucked off? Man, he's fucking fast. <laughs> like, I shot the thing, he turned around and ran away, like, completely behind me before anything even happened. Well. At least he's going to eat some food or whatever. Yep. There we go. It's done. Parts broken. My big charge slash that's like four hundred damage. <laughs> though. Oh, I poisoned him, I think. Nope, he's not purple on the mouth yet. Here, I'll uh, put a trap up for him. Yep. There he's in it now. I put a health booster there too, so you can just get in it if you need it. Now he's poisoned, yeah. Ow, he just punched me. Oh, do you want me to trap him? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I just get it like twice in a row. Okay, I'll trap him this time. Oh, we can just hit him when he gets felled in it too, so... There we go. health booster if you can. That's okay. You'll you'll recover more than you lose. Oh he's weakened. Now we could drop him now. Uh oh what a garment chill. Uh I could probably make one. Or 
maybe this other guy has one. Oh, the other guy just showed up. Oh, I hope he just doesn't run in and fucking kill him in like one shot or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. And me too. Oh, he did one of those fucking fast travel spots again. It's annoying. Alright. He's down in his nest, the deepest part. Dwee! I think you and uh, Yellow Guy are close by. Oh, decaf and you are close by. Go to uh, fast travel to the. Oh, I can't. I'm in combat. Fucking annoying. Okay. Run. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Oh, now you're coming right. Okay. I thought you were like going away the other way. <laughs> Uh, oops, did I go too far? Yep. Yeah. There we go. This fucking blood. I should just eat uh, jerky. That's why I brought it. There we go. That was dumb. Blooded yet? Are they waiting? Oh no, they're just fighting them. <laughs> yep. So I think the only items I can't give you is uh, stuff that's uh, got a little star beside it. And I, I'm not quite sure if I can give you materials or not. I'll have to figure out how to do that. If I could take it out of my box and put it into my bag or whatever. You looking for what? Okay. What uh, items or what upgrade do you want to go for? Yeah. You'll probably want to move into like a status effect or something at some point too. Falls down here, and then uh, Odegaard drags the corpse back here to eat it. Ooh, plate. That's always good. Oh yeah, the old lady comes back. Gathering maniac. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a gathering maniac. I gathered 37 items while I was there. Uh, I'm streaming, yes. <laughs> Watching it? Weird. Uh, not if it's a story one, probably not. Yeah, you just watch it once. It's like it's goodish story. Not a, not the worst story. <laughs> Materials? I'm giving to you. Zora Magdros? Yep. Uh, not that far. 
You just got down to the base there. Uh, you need to. I think there's like another mission down there. And then, uh, then you'll get like a story mission to go to another place. And then you'll get one to go against him. And then there's a bunch of other story missions that you get get you up to where I'm at. So once you fight him for real the second time, uh, then you. Yeah, the second fight's pretty similar, but it's a little bit more focused on actually doing damage to him. Like, there's traps set up all over. Yeah. You'll still have to do that. <laughs> but... Yeah, you... There's there's one on his head that you can't hit unless he stands up. And then, uh, once you've damaged all those... Uh, in the second... F yeah. The near gigante. That's the guy I'm stuck fucking fighting in the story right now. He's too hard. Uh, then the what? Yep. Oh, oh. Well, there's there's a lot of different types of elder dragons. Like there's a couple of gigantic ones like Zora Megdros, and then there's some small ones that are just god beasts like fucking near gigante. He's got some weird shit where like his spikes grow constantly and when they when they're white you can break them but when they turn black they're unbreakable and it like always bounces your sword back and then he like he'll spin and like shoot them off in whatever direction he did the attack in and they like just one shot you they just like almost always kill you and uh like i i survive a few times because i have that like divine armor that lets me survive a hit every now and then of the divine charm or whatever. Yeah, you need three pieces of something to get it up to the level where it does it like 60% of the time. So like the Legiana armor is the one I always use for that. And if you wanted the full set of Legiana armor, the high rank Legiana stuff does bow bonus too. So it's pretty good for that. Nice. <laughs> I'm just trading it on my trade in items here. And then, uh, I can help you out with the next ones. I don't know if I can actually give you the items from my box. I think I have to like get them in a mission because I'm able to change that stuff when I'm uh, when I am in a mission. So like if I carve something off a monster you need, I can give it to you that way. But I can't actually uh... minerals. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah, some of those you'll just have to wait till you beat Zora Megdros, and then you get to a new area where you can mine stuff. Bone plus, like... Uh, there isn't really much of a new game plus, it just keeps having more and more stories. <laughs> like, once you beat Zora Megdros, they're like, cool, you did it, now we can go home, and then it's like, no wait, Nier Gigante is a bitch. And then there's a bunch of other stuff that happens, so you won't be like permanently there. You'll have other stuff to do too. Uh, but yeah, if we go to an area and you need something from a monster, I can give you that. Because I don't need any of the low rank materials really anymore, except for another Gyros paralysis sack. But uh, the faster we get you. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to uh, go to the, the three dudes in the yard there. There's like a pirate lady with a horn and a little gremlin Yoda man and a elf looking dude. You can deliver quests to them if you go there. Talk to them and uh, go to complete deliveries or register bounties. And you, uh, it depends on the monster. Like, yes. 
a lot of the metal trees or bone trees, like the, the raw ones, eventually get an element. Uh, sometimes they branch off twice, so you'll get like one branch that comes early, but it doesn't have a high end. Or you'll get one that comes late, but is like, takes fucking long to get there. Uh... Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that that's not too bad for fire damage. Like, uh, I assume that's the charge blade you're talking about? Yeah, so that one has the element release ability too, which gives you a big fuck off amount of that stuff when you damage something with it. Uh, so that's really good against certain monsters that need element damage. Oh, not cats. Like, uh, if you're at the main entrance there, looking towards the guy on the pile of boxes, directly to the left, there's like three dudes standing around a wheel. Yeah, it, you can complete deliveries and, uh... Oh, this is the, the, the cat safari. You gotta go to the research area to do that. So just, l just walk out of the bridge and go to part on expedition and then just choose the research base and you'll uh, well the after a while you can do it from your house and you just talk to your little house cat guy and he'll do it for you uh i need one more gyros fucking paralysis sack sure if you have a quest for it or if you have a uh optional quest for him then choose that and I'll join you well there if you look at uh, investigations yeah you'd have to you might have to oh sure we can do that here I'll come oh yeah we could do that too because I could probably deal with that Go up to the gathering hub before you leave, though, and I'll use a voucher, and we can each have a free meal. No, but the vouchers give you a bonus, too. Like, you get better stats out of it than normal. Sure. Yeah, Gyros isn't that bad, and, like, Rab uh, Rabadan, you might want your shield anyways. When he starts rolling, you just want to block and absorb a hit. Yeah, he's, he's not too hard, like I, I didn't have the problem killing him the first time, but he's, uh, he's, every now and then he surprises you and he's just like, BAM, and I'm like, oh fuck, there's half my life, and then I like, see him roll away, and then he just turns around immediately and slams me again, and I'm like, oh fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. Mine does, oh what? Oh, oh yeah, over here. All right, I'm gonna need to pay with a voucher. Oh, trank bombs? I I have a bunch. Uh, you can find them in the ancient forest. You can usually find at least one area of them in each level. So you're never like totally out, but they're pretty common in the ancient forest. They're a little rarer in the other places. Speaking of that, I should make sure I have plenty. And you said we have to capture both of them or hunt both of them. Uh, we can just probably do both of those if you want. Oh, I know. And we'll just do one and then do the other one after. Like, you get better or... Yeah, sure. We get better uh, rewards from doing the investigations. Like, you'll get rare pieces and sometimes lots of money. Sure. Depart. Over here. Uh, this is the provision lady. Yeah, the one at the right there. Uh, 
Uh, just post it and don't go on it yet, and I'll join it in a second. Uh, if you want to get double the rewards, you can. But you can't die if we fuck up, then you lose your voucher. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I probably won't faint. So, capture, right? Okay. I will be careful to not fucking kill him. <laughs> no, I just join it. Like, there, I'm on it now. Yeah, when you post a quest, you just kind of, like, chill and wait for, like, a couple minutes and people will join in, usually. But, uh... A lot of people just party up before they're good to go, so... So, I set myself ready and then it just waits for you to say good to go. Yep, sure. My guy will take off with you. So you doing the battle bond? No, it's uh, this weekend. Yeah, I'm doing OT at work tomorrow. No, oh, I'm just doing OT at work. I was kind of wanting to go, but uh, I couldn't guarantee it because I knew work was going to be kind of busy, so. They might give you some free Trank Bombs here. They do. And free Stun Bombs, too. Awesome. And Traps. Yep. No, I, I can't take any more. I can take the easy shock, though. Do you want to kill Rabidan, too, or do you want to just uh, get what's his face? Yep. Oh, he's right there. Perfect. So you get sleep herbs like right here if you want to collect those to make your uh, your. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Mine still bounces off sometimes, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Ooh. Joke. Nice, we're cracking it. There we go. And he's poisoned too. Awesome. Woo! Ah, I got him. Good timing. Yeah, if you hit him at the right time, sometimes he falls out of his roll. Whoa! It's fast roll. Watch out. Didn't do me any damage, that's okay. Watch out! Run away if you have to, to heal up. Yeah, that that does happen. <laughs> yep, 
I got plenty of Trank Bombs too. <laughs> oh, do you still have that Max Potion I give you? Okay. Ah, fuck, he ran away. Okay, I'm gonna sharpen my sword real quick before we chase him. What's that? Scatter nuts are fucking the best for. They knock anybody out of their animation. So if you know he's gonna come at you, but you don't have time to like dodge, just shoot him with that. Yes, that's true. I always put it away when I'm not there because it's really slow for me to like charge my sword up. Another part. His leg bone is cracked. His face bone is cracked too. It's not broken, but cracked. Ow. Oh fuck. Scream at me, you bitch. There we go. I jumped on him. Woo. Hey, broke apart. Going for his tail and then his back. Oh. <laughs> As you use that item more, it'll uh, it'll start doing it more as soon as you get hurt, and it doesn't take away from its item use. There we go. Hey, off. Here he comes. He's gonna be mad. Oh, the cat hit him! <laughs> and they knocked him down too! Can't get his face now. Run off these walls here too with the like mushroom shit coming off of it. Just run at the walls, and it'll uh, you'll run up and jump off, and then you can use that to mount them or any of those ones that look like a bunch of mushrooms sticking off the wall. Yeah. <laughs> he 
He's tired again. <laughs> uh, do you see skulls yet? Oh, really? Okay, he's gonna run down there. We'll grab the items here, go chase him, then we'll stun him and do it. Uh, bone pile. There's a piercing pod there, too. Uh, they both do the same thing. Woo! There he is. Hey, buddy. Like, they both stun out of animation. Piercing Pod does more damage, so... Ow! Sure. Oh, he's aiming at me! Ah. There we go, cool. We captured a big fucking carbone dinosaur. Uh, so these fuckers here give you armor too if you carve them, like the bugs. But you have to shoot them with a stinger to not destroy them. Oh, yours actually didn't kill it, or like didn't explode it. When I hit them with the greatsword, they just explode into chunks and I can't carve them. But uh, yeah, you can make some pretty decent armor from them, weirdly. Plus, you look like a beetleborg, which is kind of neat. I used to wear it in the old game because it had really good stats. Uh, like PSP Monster Hunter, yeah. Oh yeah, see that one? That one exploded. <laughs> Oops. Gears capture. Whee! Yeah, it's fine. I got plenty. Yeah, I got easy one. I got my regular ones. I got. I brought some items to make more if I need to. So that's okay too. They're just the same. They're just the the free ones. Just the free ones, that's all. Flash bug. Oh, I'm full. Uh, shit. Okay, I can't take it. Whee! Flash bugs are so good. I see little gyros. Fucking tar birds. Big gear should be pretty close by. Fuck you, bird. There we go. Wrap the nose. No, you wasn't for <laughs> bug station. I'll sharpen, I guess, while I'm there. Yellow. Jesus. Uh, green. <laughs> yeah, I just, I can't stand it getting below there, because it's like, oh, it's just dead. Boo. Okay, so there's little gyros. I don't see a big one yet. Oh, there's a big one. Found it. Yeah, you can kill them all at once. There might be a perisherm right beside me. So you could use that, or grab that if you wanted. Are you fucking poisoned him? Jesus. Nice. Oh, you sent me flying. <laughs> Get 
Oh yeah. Fuse the Masu and Vegeto. Yeah, I was watching Eric play with uh, Fuse the Masu the other day. He looks good. Strong. Oh yeah? I heard he wasn't very good. Like, the people that are, uh, like, you know, trying to be all, like, pro at the game, they say early looks means he makes him doesn't look too good. Like, he does weird moves, his ranges are kind of odd. But, uh, Fuse the Masu has some really good tools, apparently. Oh, the fuck? Oh, we can't go that way. But, uh... Either way, I'm kind of curious to play them both. I bought the fighter pass thing, so I should just be able to get them. No, I haven't had time, honestly. Like, I I can play Dragon Ball Z faster than I can play Monster Hunter, but I want to play Dragon Ball Z more when I sit down and play it. And it's always like late at night, and I'm like, ah, I just want to chill out and slice some monsters a little bit. So. Tell me when his skulls show up if I don't see him. If I don't murder him too hard. Uh, I'm, I like it the way it is. It keeps everything nice and out of the way. <laughs> there might be an option for that in the menu there. They have some pretty good options there for it. So. That locked you? <laughs> Come on, cat. Get me up. Oh shit, there's the big guy. Ah! Yeah, he came back. Apparently he missed me. at a bad time. He dropped materials here. Oops. Oh, I got him too. Bah! He's dead. Oh, like right where I was. If you don't see it, it might not have shown up for you. But, oh, it showed up there for you? Okay. Oh, another piercing pod. I'll take that. Oh, he's got skulls. I do on the map there. I'll get a trap out. Takes a while to get to my traps. That's the sucky part. Ah, uh, too many items, where's my fucking thing? Okay, you got it. <laughs> there we go, disband and return to Gathering Hub. <sighs> yep.
Yeah, oh yeah, we could do that at the at the base. No, no, uh, can't, oh shit, never mind. I didn't get to switch. Is that, I can't remember if we can both join the same quest while we're there, or you have to start it and then I have to rejoin it. Yep, oh, that's a good lot of items. I got a paralysis sack. Just need one more for that sword. There you go, I got a couple. Should be more than enough uh, items to get that sword up to the level I need it at. <laughs> so, at the main area, like in Astera, talk to the guy on the pile of books. And, uh, you can check more shit out in the book there with the monsters. As you level them each up, it'll show you, like, what parts are breakable, what items you get from breaking those parts, what things they're weak to, what their habitat is, like, why they do certain shit. Uh, each level gives you some more info on those ones. Well, when you talk to him after upgrading a bunch of levels of research, it'll just be like, ding, 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 you leveled up these monsters. And then you could go uh, just look at the stuff more in depth. Because level one is just literally, you found this monster. And then I think level two is like, you can break these parts and it's weak to this element. And then level three is what items you get from breaking what parts and what you get off carves and shit like that. Uh... When you get the high rank, you get another three levels in every monster for more detailed shit. Uh, okay, give me a second. I was just upgrading that sword. What? Where are you? Oh, okay. Available quests. I don't see anything. FOS? your quest so okay I'll go eat a dish then will I wait easier. Okay. I'll join one in two seconds. Yes. Oh shit, I should probably drop my items off before I get back in there. Got a bunch of shit I don't need in here. Good enough. This one's shorter, 30 minutes, so we'll have to boogie once we're in there. Rabidan will be up, the other guy will be down. Sort of. The the lowest part of Rabadan goes is kind of where Gyros can be, but Gyros usually hangs out in the poison smoke. So the Odagirat will come after him a bunch, though. They'll fight both of them. 
uh, Blood Dog. Yeah, because he wanders around the whole area. He's the big dog in the area. That, that does happen. Even monsters that are supposed to be on the same team, they just fucking fight each other sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh! He ran up! <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm going the other way. I'll get to him. Weird. He went really far up. Oh, you're like still above me too, what the fuck? Climb higher, I guess. Oh yeah, this spot, okay. If you knock him down on this, these viney shit over here, he'll fall through sometimes. I don't have any slinger stuff right now, so... Yo, buddy. Wow! Ow. I want him down in this area. Because I can jump off the ledge and get on his back here, too. I cracked his back leg. His left leg. You can hold R2 to brace, or you can. Uh... Oh, nice. Good. Shockwave stun stuff. Yeah. I just hate the fact that it makes me like walk slowly for like a second after. Nice. There you go. Leg's gonna break. There we go. Leg is broke.
gonna run. Yeah. Oh, nice. One more. Yeah, I saw that like go whiffing past them. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'll chase him here. My area, because I can run off the walls here, you big dumb bone monster. Right down the tail, he got lots of good damage from that. The piercing pod. Whoops, fuck. Ah, uh, just over here. Wow. Oh, I got stunned. Help me, cat. Oh, my cat's stunned too. Oh, thank you. That's okay, you knocked me. Rubber. Spine broken. Whoa. I'll put a health booster over here. Nice. Oh, is he stumbling? Yeah. I'll grab a piercing pod and sharpen my sword again. Uh, yes, but he might come back. Give him a second. when he ran away. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was just like the level two of the Gyros blade. So now I've got to get some more high rank. Yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna bomb him. Yeah. Oh. Well, I got bigger bombs, so I'll put them in too. Mine are bigger. Just my sword. Nope. But he'll probably die in like two slashes now, honestly. Drop more pods. the wall yeah there you go funny I was like just jumping off the wall as it like he died then uh, camera cut away and I just see my dude like flying through the camera
Uh, I'd say maybe 15 minutes, which is, I think, enough for the little guy. Did you carve his tail? Cool. Yeah, that's not bad. Yes. Easier, technically. I fired Rabidai earlier because he's a big dumb monster. I'm just gonna ignore these fucks. Great Garros. Give me your footprints, and I can just immediately tell where you are. Oh, he's right nearby. Cool. Whoop. There's a couple pair of shrooms there. Hey, Garros. Fuck you. Eat poison. Oh yeah, knock you over. Yeah, your element lace. Break certain things easier though. Like monsters with horns or claws or armor bits, you can smash them up really good. No, yeah, you can't cut the tail. Can't cut the tails with hammers. Set a health booster over here while I sharpen. You should run over here. <laughs> oh man, he dropped like two more materials over here. Piercing pod. We're doing some good damage on him. Oh, he's already going back to his fucking nest. That's funny. Nope, he went to sleep though. Alright, I'm gonna smash his head here. That's okay. The first hit to him does double damage, so I'm just charging up my- nope, just charging up my big one. Oh! Fuck off, I missed! <laughs> okay, I'll just do it. The third slash I do is the biggest one, so I want to hit him with just that. There we go, okay. There we go. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go disband and return to gathering hub. Yep. Yeah. I probably got time for one more mission after that. Uh, there, there kind of is. If everybody agrees on something, or 
nobody does anything, it just starts skipping time. Yeah, it's because there's a timer. I have to give people time to like carve their shit, so. And like I'm always cool with carving more more things. Ah. Sleep sacks, those are good too. You can make yourself a status weapon if you wanted, like sleep bow or something. Divine one, okay. So uh, go to the armor guy and change equipment, or you can do it from your box and then just choose the slot. You have a sword slot, and then you have like your five armor slots, and you have a charm slot and an item slot. I like the story mode. <laughs> If that's if that's the only armor you have, it'll show up as you have one level in divine blessing or whatever. If you then you got level. Yes, that's exactly how the skills work. So no, every time you get another piece of armor that has that item or that thing, you get multiple levels of it. is subjective. Like, it's all based on skills or element resistances that you're looking for. Uh, like, yes. Like, the long sword has a lot of them because it has, like, you know, samurai style draw sword slashes and stuff like that. Most of the big weapons, like a uh, hammer or great sword, only have the one that they do. The Guiana. That's a good one for bow stuff. Uh, either. Oh yeah, yeah, the good luck thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like armor is all subjective. Like you're gonna want like six sets of it anyways. Once you're kind of up to a certain point, where you're like, oh, I'm gonna be a bow gunner, so I'm gonna switch to Anjanath because it has the bombard skill or whatever.
the Ganna. That that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, what? Oh, yeah, no, I'm talking about high rank stuff. Yeah, the, the low rank stuff is kind of whatever. Yeah, like Yana, I chose just because of Divine Blessing. Because it's like, oh, that actually lets me fight a lot of monsters that would normally one shot me, and I don't have as much trouble with them. Uh, yeah, you can. Yes. I think you can dive towards a monster, too. Or is that a different one? That's... No, sorry, that's Leap of Faith. For weapons, sort of. The they they give you dragon element a lot of the time, so depends. <laughs> it's always depends because everything's strong against something else. Uh, Elder dragons specifically are usually weak to dragon, and I think Rathalos and a couple other ones are really weak to dragon. But which, a what? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's poison? Yeah. Oh, I, I have a bunch of these now. I haven't even looked at the trees for the other ones. Which one? Aplasac? Oh, Aquasac, yes, yeah. Giratados, yes. Are you talking about Deer Ludimus for the... the Rathian thing? Almost all the Charge Blade ones are, like, unique. Whereas the Greatsword ones, it takes, like, Six levels into them before they even change. Well, the, <coughs> there used to be a lot of different great swords in the other games, but I, maybe they're there still here, but they're like really high end or some shit. But every single one of the charge blades is like different designs, which is cool. Oh, you didn't get it yet? It's a good one. Ah. Kill Giratados with uh, investigation. And, uh, you could go to your ecological dude and find out. So if you go over to the guy with the books, talk to him, check out his book, look for Giratados, and check out what his rewards give. It'll give you, sometimes you can only get them by capture, sometimes you can only get them from carves. <coughs> Basil Goose. Three star means sort of common, sort of rare. Less stars is rare. It means it doesn't drop as often. So Giratatos has the Aquasac and you need that one. So you get it as you get it as rewards, so if you have an investigation to hunt a Giratados, you can get it more likely in the rewards. 
Doesn't mean capture, it just means that you get it at the end of the mission. <coughs> oh, like slate 20 bugs or whatever. If you don't have it in your list, talk to the three dudes again by the wheel. And, uh. Oh, uh, okay. I might even have one. I can post it. Well, I have to agree, you know. Do you? Okay. That's fine. Uh, you can check your status. You go start and then look on the right there. Okay. I am 13. So once you get to 11, you turn into high rank and then you can take on high rank missions too. But you're still limited by Hunter rank until like oh, Hunter rank 20 or something. Because there's some missions that'll just fuck you up pretty quick, so. Uh, if you post it, I can join it. Right. Oh, to get uh, extra bonuses or whatever? Yes. This is hunt, not capture, right? Okay. Yeah, the sleep bombing thing you were talking about doing. Uh, if everybody in their in the group has mega barrel bombs, they're like the upgraded version of a large barrel bomb. And somebody does a level three like great sword charge. When the sword hits, he has to hit the bomb first, and then hit the guy, and then the bombs go off at the same time as he hits. And it all hits at once and does double damage. It's something absurd, like two or three thousand damage. So you can one shot monsters that way, basically. But uh oh. I just noticed the thing says posted a quest. Right. Joining. I'll put a voucher too. Yeah, it's waiting on you. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna... Get a meal. There you go. So what were you asking about skills? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, they're all equipment based. <laughs> That's where decorations and charms come in, because eventually you get charms that are like plus two to sharpening and plus two to eating fast, and then uh, you'll get yeah, you'll get like uh, decorations you can start putting on your high rank armor and weapons, where you make the choice to not have extra skills that you could have with the with the armor. Because uh, sometimes you'll get uh, armor that has, like, say, uh, sorry, when you're in high rank skills, or in armor, there's usually two or three sets of the armor. And one set will have extra skills, and one set will have slots. So you get a base set of skills with them, and uh, the other... Uh, set of armor that has less skills will have uh, open slots that you can put whatever decoration you want in that gives you whatever skill you want. So like right now I'm wearing some weird stuff. Boys, I have a, 
a build I want to go for, for like, say, poison, I'll pick up certain armor and then build some decorations to fit that armor. Well, you'll probably have two or three in the end, but you gotta get up there first, so... because I have higher level skill tracking that I've done with these monsters. So once I find one track, I can just see them on the map. He has mud though, so you can repeatedly break parts. They both do the stun. Different things though. Like, uh, Piercing Pod does the extra damage. Thorn can stack damage. So if you punch the Thorn after they've uh, been hit with it, and it does a lot more damage. Ow. Nope. I don't think this is a very high rank quest, so... <laughs> that just knocked me out of my carbon of fish. Uh, it's because his nest is behind us. 
So if he is hurt, he's just going over there. Basically. Oh, there was a piercing pot over here. What's that? Uh, aim at it with L2 and then it'll have a little circle icon. Cats have little boats because they don't want to get wet. Take a good jow. Yeah, this van turned the gathering hub. Oh, it's not dead yet. There we go. Ah! Die, fish! fish. Yeah. It's a good camera angle. Inside the fish. <laughs> you get a sack. So you said you need to kill a Diablos? Oh, okay, I got you. Make stuff? Yes. I gotta go pick up my cat safari. I got time for one more. If you have something you wanna chill, uh, go or kill. Oh, Legiana? Sure. Oh, we could just go on Expedition there and kill it. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Yeah, it's fast. Yeah, the ice is, uh, ice element's a problem too. on a safari. Yeah. Because it shows up as people you've played with. Their cats are the ones that go on the safaris. Sack. Okay. Yep. That'd be Legiana. We could either do an expedition and kill a couple of them, or uh, if you have a mission for one. Also, there's good item. There's good shit to mine there, so. Right. Uh, let me just. What? Uh, sure, I just gotta make sure I can remember what weapon he's weak against. I think he's equally weak to poison and lightning, so I have good swords for both of those. Cat quest? Oh, new food shit? Yeah. Okay. 
Yes. So you only get those during rewards. So expedition will kill two or three. Uh, yeah, we don't actually have to trap them or anything. Oh, I forgot to flick wounds. Week two. Fuck. <sighs> yeah, I know. I just meant to do it before I ran into the food thing. Never. Never. Uh, yeah, he's weak to both. Uh, let's I'll just stick to poison. Probably wants you to go investigate the the cats that live in that area, and then you can use them later to when you're by yourself. Do you go to the northeast camp? Because it, it's literally right outside the door of that, that one when you go there. Uh, probably not. Lightning or poison if you have it. Lightning is good. For status effect, poison is the most. <laughs> All right. Oh fuck! Oh, the gear on's here. Blood dog. Yep. Sometimes he sometimes he comes out and hunts outside of his area. Alright, Legana is just right there. So go get it. Flash bombs are pretty good against this guy. You fuck, don't fly away. Oh I mean, he might be going forward or he's going up. He's going up. Okay. Oh. There's not a bad... Once you get used to it, there's a bunch of the wedge beetles, and you can just zip all the way up there. Or if you have the glider thing, you can just fly up on a, like, current of air. So there's a whole bunch of wedge beetles, like, the whole way here. You can just Spider-Man your way up without touching the ground if you really want to. He fell down. <laughs> oh shit, he's beside, he's actually closer to you. There he is. He's up one level. I'm gonna yeah. start the fight. Yep. Ow! Throws me in. Get poisoned, bitch. There you go. 
don't get poisoned yourself. Turn around, I want to flash bomb you. There we go. Oh, he knocked me into the poison. The cheeky dragon. Already poisoned him pretty good. Uh, yeah, if I poison him, it shows little damage numbers. Yeah. Something like that. Some monsters are weak to it. Oh, he stunned me. Yeah. Like, uh, Gyros. Is pretty strong against it, so he has only taken eight. Also, if you have null berries, that fixes the ice blight shit. I hate his screams. I have it, but it's only good on small monsters right now. I only have level one earplugs. Sorry? No. Come over here, there's a sleep frog. Don't fall in it. Oh, never mind. Ran out. Oh, were you riding it? Funny. Fuck off. Yeah, when you're riding him. He'll smash his face into it sometimes, trying to get you off. Oh yeah, it'll usually knock him down. Doesn't really hurt him damage-wise, but it does hurt his stamina. Ah, knock me out of the air. Here, come stand in the health booster zone. At least you can try sharpening it without getting hit a couple times there. You won't get one shot in that area at least. Stop moving, you big fucking jerky. I don't know what kind of bird he'd be.
Yeah, he's psychic. <laughs> psychic flying. Latios and Latias? They're dragon psychic, I think. We already fucked his wings up pretty good. So he doesn't fly as much anymore, which is awesome. Oh, we tired him out. See if he'll smash himself into the rocks. Yaki or whatever. Yeah, he just does it less. <laughs> Is he going? F yeah. Oh shit! There's a lot of gear on here. Uh, they might just fight us, dumbly. Good. They can fuck each other up for a second while I sharpen my swords. Or not. Okay. Use Melbury. Fly back up. Oh, he flashed you? Funny. Weak now. Just uh, shoot the wedge beetle, and then they'll go halfway up. Oh fuck! I forgot to climb, doy. <coughs> yeah, null berries are the ones that you use to heal blights. Like the what? The little bugs? Oh, yeah. Just look, look. You can just shoot them and they die. Yeah. Did you see the one I shot down? The bug on the ground here. No. They're just big useless bugs. Oh, Legiana didn't go all the way up. He's just over to the side. Never mind. This is not his nest, but it's his like secondary rest area. You can jump right on his head usually. 
like that. <laughs> He's coming down. Punch him in the head. Drop some parts and some pods. Now he's getting hurt. Ow. You can also shoot the flash bugs when he's facing them. If he comes over, you know. there you go. Fuck. Oh, I got ice blighted. Fuck me. Where is he? Oh, now he ran away. Oh, to use your little like hook. Uh, it's debatably faster. Like you go a little bit faster, but uh, you run out of stamina faster. So I find it. Huh? Oh, just keep going up. Back up the way we went. <laughs> He's in the the very upper spot. I'm spider manning my way up here, never touching the ground. Fought a Kirin yet? The lightning horse. Kieran up here too. Kieran? Yeah. Kieran is an elder dragon, even though he's only a horse. Yeah. Kieran technically are actually dragons in Japanese Chinese lore. They have scales and everything. No, if you have uh, the glide suit, you can jump on them, fly up. That's also the shortcut up here. Take a glide suit and you fly all the way up here from the bottom. My god, I can't hit this guy for the glide suit. Fuck you. I'm 
We only broke one of his wings. The left one is still good. <laughs> no, you don't get it from carves. You get it from rewards. So once we leave the expedition, you'll you'll get it. Well, let's kill a second one. Also, the ore in this area is worth getting for you. An aqua core and coral crystals, they're all pretty high level stuff. Yep. Shortcut. That'll spawn in like a minute. Oh yeah. Once you kill one or one leaves, it spawns away, like right away. But here, if you go up here, there's some rare gathering points in this little cave here. Also, uh, Grimalkins will gather here too, like the cat, the cats, the wild cats. So you can talk to them here and like get them to join you. And sometimes buddy cats will show up here too. So once you're up here, get near the top, aim towards the side and jump. And I made it. So there's honey, mandragora. And excite shroom, and then you go one level up. And jump off the other side. And there's uh, an area here with some stuff in it. And I fucking missed. These Devil's Blight, they're special. They're good stuff. So you might be able to use them already if you go to crafting list. Uh, Devil's Blight makes... What the hell was it? It's something super strong. No, it does, but I can't remember what the hell it is. Yeah, you don't have the thing sort. Yeah, there you go. Mega barrels. That's what it was. So when you have uh, barrel bombs, mix them with those. And you'll get the, the next level of bombs. Once you unlock the place to grow mushrooms and plants and shit, and you've collected them and leveled that up a bit, you can grow them there. And then you can just make mega barrel bombs. Much easier. See, leg Jan is back now. Because I can see it on the thing there. It's not dead anymore. Gotta find a track. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, for the other guys. Odegaran and Tetsuyaku. Yeah, I hit him in the face. Oh, I forgot to sharpen my, my item. <laughs> I'm gonna set a trap here. See if we can get him to land on it. Yeah! Jump down a level because there's uh, the bugs over here, or the, the, the frog. Oh, he knocked me out. Perfect. Flash bug and paralyzed toad. Yep. He just fell off the ledge. Oh yeah, for killing bugs. <sighs> well, sorry. Yeah, I know because he killed a bug. Did it added investigation. You should. You you'll never be able to do them. You shouldn't be able to do them all because they generate them every time you kill random animals and shit. But. uh... Doing, every, doing this every now and then gets you rare items for things that you'll need to make stuff. Because eventually you don't just need one monster's shit to make a sword. You'll need like, like Yana, and then like a piece of Tetsuyaku, and then a piece of the other guy. So getting a lot of those stocked up, you can either sell them or just keep them ready for when you need to use them. any
try and bring him down here a little bit. Here, up booster. Oh, I'm all out of flash bombs. Get tired out. Still tuckered out. Yeah. There we go. one anyways. Shoot. He's always just too far away to jump on from there. Stop screaming. <laughs> Can't even say hi to you. Uh. Got pods we left here. Broke another one. Nice. And he's poisoned and sore. Can I see that? Sorry. Choop. Choop. Tears just research points, but still useful. Getting like two or three hundred for free is awesome. Alright. Run all the way back up. Yeah, if you had the glide suit just off to the right there, you can jump in a jet stream and it flies you all the way to the top. Oh, your cat just fell off. Also, those little green deer walking around, uh, they're called Kelby, and 
you need to break their horns when you kill them to get a very special ingredient for making like mega nutrients and special potions and shit. But you have to hit them like right in the horn, it's kind of annoying. Faithful is a lot faster, two cats is a lot more stable because they heal so much. Like knock me away as I hit him with the end there. All right, that should be good for like Yana parts. Won't get you all the way there, but it should get you at least the weapon you wanted, and then probably a piece of his armor or two. Oh yeah, yeah. They're all pretty different, but sometimes they do overlap. Once I mine this last thing, I'll jump back to the camp and then leave. <laughs> Alright, let's see what kind of rewards we got. But I don't think I need them, so. Nice. I'm at five. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Once they get too big, they're like hard to hit. It's like, oh, I want to hit their wings, and yeah, you just can't hit them. It's like, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a significant size sometimes. Like, uh, 
Giratados is big, but he's not that big. But there is really big Giratados. And like, I fought a small Basil Goose, which was like, not as big as a Rathian, like a small Rathian. And then I fought a Basil Goose that's like, twice the fucking size of a Rathian, and it was just like, oh my god. It's like, I'll punch him in the feet, I guess, until he falls over, but... Uh, might do some stuff for damage, like they might be able to smack you harder. Oh, you're talking about the Devil Bloom or whatever? Yeah, you gotta level up probably. Let's see, can I upgrade any of this stuff? I don't need freezer sacks. Oh! <laughs> Sword? Gotcha. Yeah, you'll. As you get through the story, it unlocks the further tiers. Bone or something? Yeah, yeah once you get up another level, it's good. Probably just stuff that you'll be able to get once you've gotten into that part of the story, so. Uh, the little black, red lizard monsters in the Coral Highland. They're like, they look like Jagras, but they're kind of different. When you fight one, like 50 more come. So sometimes they actually can fuck you up because it's like, oh, there's all of a sudden so many that I'm just stunlocked. Probably be on Sunday, because uh, I'll be down OT at work then, and I don't know if I'm gonna go try to go to the uh, Battle Bond Majig, but we'll see. What the hell's Tinkertown? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, alright. Gotcha. Alright dude, have a good night. See you there.